Hello, testing, testing, am I live? Okay. I'm 25 seconds in. Can you hear me, Mike? On okay, cool. Right, so guys, welcome back. My name is Esther. Now I'm trying to uh, introduce myself even before I start my life. So uh, for some of you guys who attended my webinars and so, you might know me. My name is Esther. So I run this whole metaphysics thing. And yeah, that's how EC comes by Esther and C is my surname too. So um, welcome to my live session. So today I'm back at my office. As you can see, there's this plain, plain wall at the back. So if you are new to this channel, um, just you know, give me a hi, hello, chat, say. <laughs> so usually, uh, for those who is new here or doesn't know me, um, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I am actually uh, doing this weekly live and most of my content, uh, very less of technical stuff because I think there are many people who actually share a lot of technical things. Uh, I share mostly things that uh, tickles your brain or maybe share things based on different perspective. Hello, hi Nelly, hi Steven. So yeah, I do my live usually uh, every Friday. So uh, I like it be more interactive because I think certain, certain times uh, when we understand certain things, I think uh, there's a lot of perspective. So it's good to actually discuss this. So I personally like my life and my topics to be more interactive or maybe if not interactive also, I will interact with myself most of the time. <laughs> so yes, so for those who find it interesting, maybe you can click a like, share, you know, or like or whatsoever, give some emoticons so I don't feel bored. So <laughs> today my topic um, is surrounding around period nine. Okay, as uh, you guys know, period nine is coming. So we say so. Uh, and that's why today I'm going to bring up uh, something that has been, everyone has been talking about period nine, period nine, what is period nine? And when truly is period nine, okay? Because I think uh, you might also have heard uh, that period nine is coming sooner than expected. Uh, is that true or not? Uh, let's, let's, let's look at this together, okay? So now um, let's share. So period nine, I think this is one topic that is, to be honest, scratched my head as well. Uh, because I... I initially was so confused because all of us believe that period 9 comes on 2024. But then after that, uh, for those who, who know astrology, Western astrology, and those who study further on Chinese astrology, uh, says that, oh, it's coming on the 20, 21st of December, hmm, period 9. So is it, on, is it period 9, is it really on 2024 or 21st of December? Okay, and I will tell, share with you why is it so important to know where we are? So, hi, Geoff Geoffrey. <laughs> so, partly um, why I want to also bring this up is because uh, I think it's important to know personally as a practitioner myself because when we do feng shui, it's important to know what floor plan and what chart to actually plot during the period, okay? So, this is one thing that I want to bring up. But before that, okay, guys, this is something that I, I shared in my Instagram. I didn't share on Facebook. Okay, today is a very special day, okay? It's the Grand Duke's birthday, okay? So uh, for those who doesn't know, today is a uh, Wu, Zi, Wu Zi day, Wu Zi month and a Geng Zi year, okay? So just beware. I call this the Grand Duke's birthday because the red is the Grand Duke of the year. So before I begin, this is a reminder. I know it's almost half of the day because I was busy attending meeting today. So I only have time like right now, you know, I just managed to came back to my office after three months not coming back. Then, uh, yes, yeah, so today is 11 December, which is the red day. Uh, so for those who have horse in their chart, okay, like for me, be careful. Uh, basically, what does it say is uh, you, you just be careful. Lah, you don't, don't make important decisions on this day, okay, because it's like clash, okay. Uh, of course, other animal signs that interact are like Mao, the uncivilized punishment, and also other animal signs that have interactions with the Zi. Okay, just be careful, okay? You are, you, you are friendly with the rat, okay? So it's okay. So today, I, I was lucky today because today turned out to be also my divine force day. That's why uh, regardless, 
uh, it's a clash day for me. I still went on with my meeting because it's divine force day. So I was positioned in a certain direction just now during my meeting. Okay. So yeah, that is an exception case. Uh, so yes, so this is a reminder. I hope you have enough time for you to not be nasty about the day and don't make decisions. So yes, before I begin. So coming back to period nine, is it really on 2024? Okay, so basically uh, where does this whole period, period thing comes from? Period, okay, you know back then, uh, astrono astronomers and astrologists or ancient days, people don't have a clock. You know, people don't have watch. People, people back then were just trying to develop calendars and stuff. So how do they actually measure time at ancient days is they look through the stars, they look through the sun and the moon. Okay, so that's how ancient old traditional people who doesn't have watch and clock back then, they look at the sun and the stars to determine what season they are at and also what time and what 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 time what what's the day what's the month what's the year of that period of time so basically what astrologists usually used to do last time is they they use the alignment of planets and stars to determine uh, a certain period of time in their life that is why okay this thing comes apart the period period thing comes right people always say what is period okay basically period itself is just a time so back then, traditional in Chinese context, what the Chinese ancient uh, masters or astronomers did, they developed a time based on the stars and then record it down, right? So uh, how does the time look like? Okay, so based on Chinese context, okay, as you can see in, in this uh, whole table, simple table that I make, okay, it, they actually made it like a hundred and... 80 years of cycle, we call this the, the, the big, bigger cycle. So in each cycle itself is divided into three, uh, I call it the three major cycles. So there's one called the upper cycle, middle cycle and lower cycle. So each cycle itself, okay, has three periods, right? So each period has 20 years, right? So, and each, when each period have 20 years, so, you know, ancient days, they calculated and then they key in the year and stuff, right? So, yeah, that's how time actually was created. Back then, they used this thing and it was in Chinese ancient text, they record down. Great, we all now have a time frame. So, in one cycle, right, I think Andy, Andy mentioned something. Uh, where is this? Ah, yes, Andy, you're right. <laughs> my divine force in my southwest <laughs> so basically um in in a whole like one big cycle the chinese actually calculated a total of 180 years which consists of nine different uh periods so the nine different periods actually come from all the nine palaces you know your loshu okay so they have nine spots right so that's how we created like one cycle so basically we are at the last period of the whole cycle Okay, so the last time we all have this was like 180 years ago. The last time we are experiencing this kind of transition from period 8 to period 9 was 180 years ago. All right, so I believe none of us are alive back then. Okay, unless you remember <laughs> something, maybe you were from the past and you remember, but basically. Uh, no one, no one actually experienced this change before, right? So we all have this calendar as as practitioners, as enthusiasts. We all refer to this calendar to say that oh, this is the period. So many many years, uh, we all have been using this type of time frame to do many things. Uh, <laughs> so spooky <laughs> to do many things, and uh, we also use this time frame to plot. Uh, the feng shui, the, the, the floor plan, because each and every time when you move in a house in different periods, the, the house itself has a different floor plan, right? So this timing itself, right, is very important, I would say, because for those who does feng shui, we, there's a different energy. And not only that, this kind of um, energy, this kind of period uh, denotes different type of energy as well. So basically, this timing and period itself, right, is like a foundation of how we evaluate energy. You know, so 
it's very important, bottom line is. So ancient Chinese era has already calculated that for us and Chester's has already calculated that for us. We are so blessed. Okay, good. But then, one thing, okay. We all know that, okay, not we all know. If you do a lot of research and if you understand the Chinese metaphysics, what is one period means? One period takes 20 years, right? And based on the uh, arrangement of um, stars, one one period occurs every 20 years and this every 20 years is when the Jupiter and the Satan, Satan as in not the Satan, but the Saturn as in the planet, right? They come together in alignment. So it's basically like they come straight up. Basically, it's like, um, you know, two things coming aligned, okay? But because usually it's not aligned. So this, this, this is what's, what's really happening at the galaxy whenever the period come whenever the, the, the start of this period example like now uh, everyone was saying that period nine is coming so technically uh in in this chinese asian text right uh period nine is 2024 correct so technically okay this alignment jupiter and saturn itself were aligned on 2024 okay this this is theoretically what's going to happen okay based on chinese calculation chinese text but 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 okay if you go google now and check and i think if you're on facebook right now listening to me technically you should be quite active on facebook <laughs> otherwise you won't be listening to me in evening time like that you will see that there's a lot of people actually posting up about the major and great conjunction this major and great conjunction is referring to the alignment of Jupiter and Satan. So, they in, in, in that, in that uh, description itself, it mentioned that on the 21st of December, there is this alignment. 21st of December 2020, which is next week. Okay. And then, but, okay, I thought that, we all thought that, hey, wait, uh, I thought, we all thought that this alignment will come on 2024. Uh, okay, because that's what Chinese ancient texts say, right? Uh, the alignment of a new, whenever a new period arrives, okay, this alignment happened, and based on Chinese texts, the next alignment will be 2024. But in real life, in real planetary movement, that's not what really happened, okay? So based on what's going to happen, okay, the real alignment is going to happen sooner than X. Okay, now it's not the time uh, for us to evaluate who is right and wrong. Okay, uh, personally, I feel in this, uh, and I, I, I've seen quite a lot of uh, people writing about it as well. Uh, I don't think uh, we, we are trying to see who is right and wrong and who did the calculation. Well, I, I believe in the Chinese ancient text, when they did the calculation, there must be some... I wouldn't say like people would change it. Maybe whatever Chinese text was referring was an approximate figure, okay? Because, because we are actually four years earlier than expected, okay? So this is a question mark. I think in, um, I don't know about other practitioners and how are they planning to use this information because this information, I tell you, is not new. Uh, people has already know the fact that Jupiter and Saturn is coming, going to come into uh, alignment uh, during this uh, during this twenty first of December. Okay, people already foresee that, right? But the thing is, um, are they going to use this information seriously? This this is a question which I'm also not sure how how are uh, other uh, practitioner going to use this information because. By planetary movement uh, itself, it shows that period nine is happening on 21st of December 2020 and is officially effective then. Okay, because if we actually refer to 2024 and we forecast the movement of the Jupiter and Saturn, the alignment of Jupiter and Saturn on 2024 is, is already very far apart. So technically, the, the information is not right. There's a discrepancy between the, the real planetary movement versus the ones in the Chinese text. So the question is, 
is period nine really at 2024? Okay, I, I'm not sure to be honest. Okay, because uh, this is because at the very beginning, uh, I'm because I'm in the era uh, who I'm the era within the era where when I learned Chinese metaphysics, I already know it's 2024. Not until now when I, I also venture into Western astrology and stuff. And I see that, oh my God, this thing is equivalent and actually the Western astrology and the, the Eastern astrology is very similar and things. That's why I was like, okay, period nine timing is off. And in fact, it's not just period nine timing. Uh, back then, uh, in the transition of period eight happened earlier as well. So in, in Chinese text, period eight itself supposed to start at 2004, 2004. But the actual conjunction that happened was May 2000. So actually period 8 arrived four years earlier than what the Chinese text actually say so. So right, important question now, which one will you guys use as a practitioner? Um, personally, I, I believe on real planetary movements, not to say that uh, Chinese text is wrong, but I believe uh, maybe there was just a, uh, you know, like so-called uh, approximate figure. But the approximate, the, the gap itself is about four years to five years, yeah, I would say. Because um, I, I, I know that if this one has discrepancies uh, and the one the year before this has discrepancies, the gap is four years. I believe the following next few coming periods would have discrepancies as well. Um, so what are you going to use? Are you, are you going to use the next period information? <laughs> I mean the previous period information still? Maybe not. Okay, to be honest, I will not use period 8 anymore. I will focus on period 9 already, like literally, because the, the real transition, the full transition will happen on the 21st of December. If you want to take and consider uh, 2024 as the real period 9, you know that gap from 2020 to 2024, how, how big difference will it make? A lot, you know, four years can happen a lot of things. And the reason why I think it's important to, to bring this up is because uh, as you who knows Chinese metaphysics and if, if you want to find a new house and everything, you have to base on period nine already uh, because we plot the charts based on periods um, and we can't refer to 2024. Also, there is a lot of shift, okay? Um, I did an analysis earlier on, uh, which is in writing scribble. I didn't show it here, but I actually made an analysis whereby how the, the, the fire element will affect the next 10 years. And what I realized is during 2024, in fact, is the peak of the fire element because uh, 2024 is where the wood element comes in and the wood produces more fire. So aligning together with the period uh, period nine, which is the fire element, together with the year itself of 2024, the fire element is at, at peak. In fact, it's going to be at peak for four years, 2024 until 2028. So it's actually like a, a bell curve. Okay, I actually draw a curve on how the fire element looks like, right? So we all, there's a lot of changes basically whenever um, energy shift, right? Um, it shift many, many things. If you were watching my previous videos, you would know that it shift many, many things, right? So what, what is important right now is, okay, it's up to you whether or not you, you whenever you do your feng shui or whenever you study or, or want to look for a house, it, it's up to you whether you want to use the period nine way of looking or period 8 way of working. My advice is to use period 9, okay, because it's already happening. Secondly, it's also to understand, um, yeah, you see, feng shui quality of the house will change, like, immediate effect, to be honest. Um, and I never knew this until, like, early this year. Uh, early this year. So, uh, it's, you know, those who knew it earlier will already get a period 9 house. Uh, and I feel now it's important, okay, moving forward, don't try to because I, I know someone who actually told me that they want to move in before period nine happens. But I tell you one thing, unless you move in before the 21st of December, then you would, you, you would be in period eight. Otherwise, period nine has already happened, guys. That is what I, I truly believe now because, um, of course, Chinese text uh, is not wrong. I think it's just an approximate whenever they give the time. 
But what I think is really uh, true, because their foundation is true, looking at the stars, and now I'm looking at the stars, we are looking at the stars, and we understand that the alignment is happening on 21st. So from 21st onward, it's already period nine. Period. That's it. Okay. So what's going to happen? Feng Shui of the quality, Feng Shui of the, the house will change. Industry, trend, society also will change. So not only in Chinese metaphysics, uh, we say that major change will happen, but um, in Western astrology as well, yeah, uh, they did also mention that major change will happen. And what I mean by major change will happen, I think for some of you guys who already know the fire element, uh, basically, you know, from, from imagine uh, period eight is actually a mountain, okay? Um, and period nine is a fire. Okay, sometimes maybe the, the change are not so big, but from a period eight to period nine is a very big change. Very, very, very big change. Why? It's because from a mountain who is, you know, at the ground, constantly at the ground, and the energy is like, you know, don't move on those, those kind. Now they are going up. Okay, period nine is about fire. So the characteristic is so big difference. Fire is all about going upwards. You know, their energy is going upwards. So uh, it's very, very, very big difference. And if you realize their, you know, the, what is it called? The hexagram itself, the line changes at the bottom. So the bottom itself is represent of the, the earth element. So um, we can see that the major changes is going to happen on earth, which I denote it as the feng shui. So feng shui aspect itself is going to change very big. Uh, so yeah, so that is what I personally feel and I personally think that's the reason why um, I'm, I'm going to make this webinar on this, wait, on next coming Saturday, on 19th of December, okay? So this webinar itself, I'm going to focus more into detail on period nine stuff, okay? Purely on period nine. Uh, because industries, trends, society will change. I think a lot of you guys also can see the change happening right now already. I don't have, technically, I don't really have to say much a lot. Uh, it's just that, are you still um, not changing? Yeah, and maybe some of you guys might think that, oh, wait until the next period come only change or wait until 2024 only change. I will say don't wait until then because change already happened. Uh, and I, I'm quite happy with the change, okay, to be honest. Uh, and because um, the previous change from period uh, 7 to period 8 change, I was too young to actually experience the drastic change because I don't know, but I think we, we don't know, but I think we were still too young back then. So now it's really a very interesting change because um, it's, it's, a, it's a new kind of uh, environment of things and it's very interesting to actually observe so many changes. And if, if you don't change, okay, because the environment is going to change faster than anything else, if you don't change right now, if you don't align yourself towards period nine stuff, basically, uh, you might struggle, you know, because the, the thing is now, because we all expect period nine to happen at 2024, we think we got time, but actually, uh, there's not much time. <laughs> So a lot of things you actually have to already shift right now. Uh, but no choice now if you haven't shift, you've got to slowly make your shift right now. But uh, there's a reason why uh, you can see also, I, I'm also coming out doing a lot of videos and stuff. Uh, and I'm, I fall under the, the middle class woman as well. <laughs> so I'm also leveraging on the time and that is my strategy. Uh, that's how we, we can leverage on the time and the energy. Right, so if you you are, I'm not gonna talk period nine stuff here, you know, because there's so many talk, and I am, I need to be more systematic. I cannot just jump and talk about stuff; otherwise, you will go nowhere. So if you guys are interested in period nine stuff, uh, do sign up for my webinar. It's a free webinar. This is coming uh, this next 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 weekend. My webinar of period nine. I'm gonna share more into the the technical stuff, um, and I I think. I think I'll be sharing more of the application as well because I've identified something new which I can explain in a different perspective. So if you want to know more, do sign up. I think I can put my links here. I don't know why it's so difficult to... Oh, oh, oh. So difficult to use this... Um... Uh... 
Uh, okay, you can register here. Um, anyway, what is it that is the difference due to early heaven? Yes, actually, uh, Boon Leong, uh, uh, Chia Boon Leong, yeah. So actually, the it's true, uh, based on the Pakwa, early heaven Pakwa, and the later heaven Pakwa. Uh, it's true that the transition of early heavens has occurred long time, not long time ago, I think 2017. That was when it happened, five years before now. Um, I personally haven't found the connection between the stars and early heaven yet. Uh, but I choose to believe, okay, that the transition already happened on 2017 also. I think it's correct because based on early heaven Pakwa, it's true. But if the later heaven Pakwa has a discrepancy in its calculation by a few years, I believe the early heaven might have to. I'm not sure. I think what's important to find and uh, to know to know is okay. There's no right or wrong, but to know is sometimes information itself uh, is is purely just uh, information, and um, we got to use it the right way. I I think personally that way because I think as practitioner, uh, it's very important to get to identify the period right, especially when it comes to functional application because we are plotting the chart based on periods. Um, so I personally would see that way it's important for me personally because of the feng shui. Uh, parts wise, I, I won't see much effect, but it does have its effect. Okay, it affects our planning a lot. Uh, that is my personal point of view. I think that is slight discrepancies in timing, but now we all know. So, like example, the next. Uh, period whenever we transit from period nine to period one. Okay, uh, there is also another small gap. Another four years gap, if I'm not mistaken. So 2020, 2040 is when the real transition of period one will happen. Yeah, so uh, there's a time for it. We, you can actually, if you are into astrology and stuff, you can actually go and uh, Google this space website. You know, they can, you can actually see when is the next estimated uh, alignment. So that's, that's, this is one thing that I want to bring up today, yeah, because um, I think it's, people have been talking about this and, and which one should we follow and why are we talking about it? Personally, I feel that it's just for feng shui, for me at least, because we are plotting, plotting the floor plans based on flying stars and stuff like that. So that's the most important thing uh, for, for my application basis, right? So other than that, okay, uh, if you are already towards the right trend of period nine, okay, and whether your path chart is, is compliant to period nine, I think that that, is, that just plays a smaller role for me at least. But I think for others, of course, uh, you, you will be interested to know. Uh, so in terms of long-term planning, I think it's very important to know period nine so that if, example, if you are doing a certain business right now, you want to go towards period nine, right? Uh, you cannot... Because you see, what's going to happen is not just the industry trend and society. How people view wealth, finance, how people, basically perspective of value will change. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it's from mountain era to fire area. It's totally different. And I think the COVID itself, the whole incident of COVID is the catalyst for every change. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Right, I don't think that's a coincidence. The change is drastic, just like fire. They whenever they start burning, they just burn everything. Okay, everything is just fast like that, and it's very fire characteristics. Um, so I think the incident of COVID itself is also not a coincidence. It's so timely, in fact, uh, for the change to happen because of COVID, we all go to digital, and digital itself is a major thing in period nine. So everything is is gonna go from here the digital is going to just grow further from here onwards you know we are not going back to period eight anymore so there are many many changes on how you view wealth and how you manage your finance how you view value itself it's different so yeah this is what i'm going to share okay so maybe if you you want to take this in into your mind as well period nine is now <laughs> basically in two weeks time okay so uh for those who are interested in my website just join my the topic i'm going to share is uh in general period nine i'm not sure uh, whether I, i'm not sure whether i can share everything because i do i accumulate a lot of content and and do my own perspective into things and I would love to share them. So those, those who are interested, you can just um, you know, sign up for my Zoom. It will be 19th of December. 
All right, so uh, yeah, so my main message here today is uh, period nine is next week, <laughs> right? It's not 2024, it's next week, period nine. Technically, it's next week, okay? So of course, uh, if, if you have any other opinions, any thoughts, feel free to message me. I'm open for discussion and also to understand further on your thoughts because there are people are still referring to 2024, but the planetary movement itself says otherwise, right? So this is my honest and authentic thoughts about it, okay? So uh, thanks guys, okay? Because this is, this is my view and I'm really, um, it's been a full day. So uh, stay tuned for more of my webinar my live session, I'm going to share like random stuff like this to, you know, start thinking about stuff because <laughs> I don't know uh, what's my next topic yet. Uh, most likely my next topic, I, I don't know yet. I don't know, let's see what's what coming up. But, uh, but I will be back every Friday, okay? It's either 1 or 3 p.m., okay? So uh, for those who are here, uh, thank you very much again. I'm just going to end my life right now. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you find this interesting, please feel free to share it out, to share with your friends, have some opinions, have some thoughts. Uh, for metaphysics enthusiasts, uh, there's a lot of topic and discussion about this. Okay, So feel free to share about and give some likes and some love. Okay? And I'll see you next week again with my weekly sharing. Thank you very much for your time and signing out. Bye-bye.